everyone welcome again to your channel thanks for the click i hope you are doing well so as you can see we are still dealing with academic english academic vocabulary that you can use in academic context for academic purposes so uh, recently we talked about verbs we talked about nouns and we also talked about uh, adjectives in this episode we are going to talk about adverbs so as you can see here in these sentences we have a lot of adverbs we are going to go through each of these sentences and stop at each adverb. He's primarily concerned with mathematics. He's primarily concerned with mathematics. And here we have this verb, this adverb, which is primarily, okay? So primarily concerned with mathematics. And when I say he is primarily concerned with Arabic, which means he is mainly, he is mainly concerned with mathematics, okay? So his main concern, his main interest his main goal so we can say mainly concerned or he is mainly interested in something okay so primarily concerned mainly concerned so it is the top one of his top interest or one of his top concerns mathematics physics whatever so for example we can say government is primarily concerned with decreasing joblessness in the country decreasing reducing the joblessness in the country so this is the main or the major concern of the government there are approximately 2000 books in her library there are approximately 2000 books in her library so we can say approximately or something like we can say roughly so it is roughly not Exact. So this one is not the exact number. It's not the exact number. So it is approximately, maybe more, maybe less. So that's what you mean by approximately, which means not exactly. So it is not exactly. There are approximately 2,000 books in her library. So which means maybe more, maybe less. There are precisely 11 sentences here. So if you count these sentences, there are exactly there are precisely 11 sentences so this is a precise number exactly so we can say exactly so it is exact number this number is exact this number is true there are precisely 11 sentences true number exact number the number is exactly the same as before so here we have another one exactly so we can say exactly or precisely so it's exactly the same there is no difference when i say exactly the same to me there is no difference 11 11 12 12 2000 2000 so it is exactly no difference exactly or precisely you're watching this video because you simply want to improve your english so here we have another adverb which is simply when i say simply which means surely surely so we can say surely you want to improve your English. So here you are sure simply you want to learn. Sometimes you can use it with a fixed expression. Sometimes we can say simply put. So this is something else. Okay, so you're watching this video because you simply want to improve your English, okay? So this is a very important adverb to know. Surely, simply. They eventually obtain the result they want. They eventually, which means at the end, they obtained the result they wanted. So they eventually, or at the end, obtained, they got, so we can say obtained or got the result they wanted. They eventually obtained the result they wanted. Or we can also say he eventually reached his goal, for example, or achieved his goal, okay? So he eventually, at the end, okay, at the end, he or they obtained the result they wanted. Their experiment was mostly successful, was mostly successful. So here we can say not completely, okay? So we can say completely or mostly. So the opposite, which is completely. So mostly, not completely, okay? Not completely. So the opposite of mostly is completely, okay? Their experiment was mostly successful or was completely successful. If it is completely successful, which means it is 100% successful. It was not merely an exper experience, it was a lesson. It was not merely, it was not just an experience, it was a lesson. It was not 
just it was not just an experience it was a lesson just merely an experience sometimes we can stop here and say for example it was uh, merely an experience it was nothing but experience okay so if i say it was merely an experience it means nothing but an experience but here we have we we have it was not merely an experience it was not just an experience it was a lesson pollution is directly linked to environment directly sometimes we can say indirectly indirectly directly linked or indirectly linked so it is directly linked to environment so there is a link there is a direct link between pollution and environment which is very simply pollution affects the environment negatively so pollution is directly linked to environment success success is directly linked to hard work to hard work okay he learns languages especially english so here we have especially we can say especially or specifically particularly we can also say particularly especially or particularly english so here you specify okay you specify the language you like more okay so we can say he loves languages especially english especially french he loves the sport especially jogging etc so he loves all languages but one the top which is english especially english particularly english 11 this video is made especially for english learners so here we have especially which means for a specific purpose so for a specific purpose so it is for a specific purpose and the purpose here is english learners so this video made especially for english learners which means it was not made for others but for english learners so here we have especially and we have especially it's very important to know the difference between these two adjectives especially and especially okay so especially for a specific purpose and especially for particularly or specifically so all these are very necessary adverbs to know to use in academic context and for ad academic purposes if you have any question or suggestion don't hesitate to let me know see you in another episode with another lesson have a good time and goodbye